Hello friends and welcome to my channel Knitting Kitty. Christmas is just around the corner but you still have time to crochet something beautiful for your home or as a gift for your friends. Today we are going to make this cute little cat elf. You can use it as a beautiful Christmas tree decoration or it can be the best Christmas friend for your little one. The size of the cat is 13 centimeters. I've used sport weight yarn and 2.5 millimeter crochet hook. Let's get started. First, we are going to crochet the head. Use gray color yarn. Make a magic ring and crochet six single crochet into it. For the next round, crochet an increase in each stitch of the previous round. For round 3, make one single crochet in the first stitch, then in the next one make an increase. One single crochet, then make an increase. Repeat till the end of the round until you have 18 stitches. For round 4, crochet single crochet in the first two stitches, then make an increase. Repeat to single crochet, then make an increase. Repeat till the end of the round until you have 24 stitches. For the round 5, Let's crochet single crochet in the first three stitches, then again make an increase. Three single crochet, then in the following stitch make an increase. At the end of the round you will have 30 stitches. For round six crochet single crochet in the first four stitches then make an increase repeat four single crochet then make an increase in the following stitch repeat till the end of the round until you have 36 stitches for the next five rounds crochet single crochet in each stitch of the previous round for round 12 crochet single crochet in the first four stitches then make a decrease repeat four single crochet then make a decrease repeat till the end of the round until you have 30 stitches for the next round crochet single crochet in every stitch of the previous round For round 14, crochet, single crochet in the first 3 stitches, then make a decrease. Repeat, 
three single crochet, then make a decrease. Repeat these steps till the end of the round until you have 24 stitches. Start stuffing the head, then attach the safety nose between round 9 and round 10 of the head. For the next round crochet, single crochet in the first two stitches, then make a decrease, repeat, two single crochet, then make a decrease, repeat till the end of the round and you have 18 stitches. some more stuffing. For round 16 crochet single crochet in the first stitch then make a decrease. Repeat one single crochet then make a decrease. Repeat these steps till the end of the round until you have 12 stitches. Stuff the hat nice and firmly. And for the last round, make only two decreases. Finish with a slip stitch and leave a long tail for sewing. If it's necessary, you can add some more stuffing. Use a darning needle and close the rest of the stitches. Now let's crochet the body. Use grey, green and white cower yarn. Start with the grey cower yarn. Repeat the same steps you did for the head from round 1 to round 4. Start with the magic ring and crochet 6 single crochet into it. Then for round 2 crochet an increase in each one of these 6 single crochet. For round 3, make single crochet in the first stitch, then in the next one make an increase. Repeat one single crochet, then one increase in the next stitch. Repeat this till the end of the round. And for round 4, crochet single crochet in the first two stitches, then in the next one make an increase. 
Repeat these steps till the end of the round until we have 24 stitches in total. Now crochet 3 rounds without any increases. Make single crochet in each stitch of the previous round. Now change to green color yarn and crochet one round with single crochet in each stitch of the previous round. For the next round crochet, single crochet in the first two stitches, then make a decrease. Repeat two single crochet, then make a decrease. Repeat till the end of the round and you have nine stitches. Now change to white color yarn and crochet one round with single crochet in each stitch of the previous round. Stuff a little bit the body. For round 11 crochet. Single crochet in the first 4 stitches then make a decrease. Repeat 4 single crochet then make a decrease. Repeat these steps till the end of the round until we have 15 stitches in total. Again change to green color yarn and crochet 2 rounds with single crochet in each stitch of the previous round. Make a slip stitch and leave a long tail for sewing. Again stuff a little bit more the body. Next step is to crochet the ears. Use only grey color yarn. Make a magic ring and crochet 6 single crochet into it. For round 2 crochet, single crochet in the first stitch then make an increase, repeat one single crochet then make an increase, at the end you will have 9 stitches. For the next round crochet, single crochet in every stitch of the previous round. For round 4 crochet, single crochet in the first 2 stitches then make an increase, repeat 2 single crochet then make an increase, at the end you will have 12 stitches. For 
round 5, crochet single crochet in the first 3 stitches, then make an increase. Repeat 3 single crochet, then in the next one make an increase. Repeat these steps till the end of the round until we have 15 stitches. In the last round, crochet single crochet in each stitch of the previous round. Finish with a slip stitch and leave a long tail for sewing. It's time to crochet the arms. Use grey, green and white cower yarn. Start with the white cower yarn. Make a magic ring and crochet 6 single crochet into it. For round 2, crochet an increase in each stitch of the previous round. For the next round, crochet single crochet in every stitch of the previous round. Four, crochet single crochet in the first two stitches then make a decrease repeat two single crochet then make a decrease repeat till the end of the round and you have nine stitches Change to grey cower yarn and crochet 2 rounds with single crochet in each stitch of the previous round. Now change to green cower yarn and crochet single crochet in the first stitch then make a decrease. Repeat. One single crochet, then make a decrease. Repeat this till the end of the round until you have six stitches. Then stuff a little bit. Now crochet 2 rounds with single crochet in each stitch of the previous round. Now change to white cower yarn and crochet 2 rounds with single crochet in each stitch of the previous round. Finish with a slip stitch and leave a long tail for sewing. Stuff a little bit more. Now we are going to crochet the legs. Use white and grey cower yarn. Start with the white cower yarn. Make a magic ring and crochet 6 single crochet into it.
for the next round crochet single crochet in every stitch of the previous round. For round 3, make one single crochet in the first stitch, then in the next one make an increase. One single crochet, then make an increase. Repeat till the end of the round until you have 18 stitches. For the next round, crochet single crochet in each stitch of the previous round. For round 5, crochet single crochet in the first 4 stitches. Then make a decrease. Repeat for single crochet, then make a decrease. Repeat till the end of the round until we have 15 stitches. Round 6. Crochet single crochet in the first 3 stitches, then make a decrease. Repeat 3 single crochet, then make a decrease. Repeat these steps till the end of the round until you have 12 stitches. Now change to grey color yarn and crochet. Single crochet in the first two stitches, then make a decrease. Repeat two single crochet, then make a decrease. Repeat these steps till the end of the round until you have nine stitches. For round eight, crochet single crochet in each stitch of the previous round. Then stuff a little bit. For round 9, crochet, single crochet in the first stitch, then make a decrease, repeat, one single crochet, then make a decrease, repeat this till the end of the round until you have 6 stitches. For round 10, crochet, single crochet in each stitch of the previous round. Finish with a slip stitch and leave a long tail for sewing. Finally, crochet the tail. Use only grey color yarn. Make a magic ring and crochet 6 single crochet into it. Then from round 2 to round 11 crochet single crochet in each stitch of the previous round. Make a slip stitch and leave a long tail for sewing. Do not stuff the tail. Now we can start assembling our cat. You will need a darning needle, bubble pins and scissors. Using bubble pins position the head on the body, then using a darning needle sew it on top of the body.
Now it's time for the arms. Attach them just below the head. Make sure they are at the same level and then sew them to the body. Now it's time for the ears. Attach them on top of the head with two or three stitches in between. Now it's time for the legs. Sew them on the bottom part of the body. Finally, sew the tail in the lower part of the back. If you want, you can make a few stitches in the middle part of the tail and sew it to the body. To finish the look of our cat elf, let's crochet a mini hat. Use green cower yarn and 2.5 mm crochet hook. Make a magic ring and crochet 6 single crochet into it. Then crochet 2 rounds with single crochet in each stitch of the previous round. For round 4, crochet single crochet in the first 3 stitches, then crochet an increase in the next 3 stitches, you have 9 stitches in total. Then for the next round, crochet single crochet in each stitch of the previous round. For round 6, crochet single crochet in the first 3 stitches, then crochet an increase in the next 3 stitches and finish with single crochet in the last 3 stitches. You will have 12 stitches in total. For the next round, crochet single crochet in each stitch of the previous round. Make a slip stitch and leave a long tail for sewing. If you have a small bell, you can sew it on top of the head. Use thinner black yarn and small darning needle and embroider the eyes, the whiskers and the smile. Finally, sew the head between the two ears of the cat. Also, if you want, you can add two small buttons to complement the look of the elf. Our cat elf is ready. I really hope you've enjoyed my tutorial. See you soon!